Hello everyone from the UK actually. I am away for in total five weeks, kind of doing like a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a business trip. And tomorrow I'm actually going to meet Esme for the first time since 2019, like Adelaide International 2019 was when I first met her. But tomorrow I'm actually going down to see her at her place and ride her horse joey which is super exciting just doing like a little bit of a trail ride or something so i thought i might as well bring you guys along with and do a little vlog so yeah i'm taking the train tomorrow morning but just thought I should introduce you here because i know how i'm gonna be in the morning but yeah i'm just staying with a friend who also just moved here and also watching my boyfriend play volleyball and everything like that like I I really crammed this holiday like it's it's not even really a holiday it's it's absolutely packed but yeah after I catch up with Esme tomorrow the day after I am going to Cologne in Germany which is where Spoger Horse is held which is the biggest horse trade event in the world so it's just like a bunch of products being showcased and businesses showcasing their new stuff so I'm actually going there to hopefully find a breeches manufacturer that I actually like because I haven't had the best luck lately with that sort of thing. So yeah, super exciting and I thought I would bring you along with because equestrian things. And then I'm actually going to stay at a horse place in France later on in a couple weeks and then going to the World Equestrian Games in Denmark. So I'm just, can't get away from the horses, guys. Not that I want to. Just really crammed everything into this one holiday and I hope you enjoy. Woo! On the way to see Esme. decided um just because i'm a little better on a um bigger horse usually i'll say that and then i'll yeah. fall off <laughs> sorry if so okay. knock on wood <laughs> going to a warehouse oh, an equine warehouse, equine warehouse to get some boots because i have none <laughs> i'm just borrowing the helmet they're the same size with my tiny <laughs> tiny head in proportion so here <laughs> oh my god the, the selection <laughs> we love that <laughs> <laughs> when in rome <laughs> this is surreal hey oh is that good are you an itchy boy is that good hmm? oh i shouldn't have worn black today should i Two souls colliding We shared the pieces of ourselves It's perfect timing now We fueled the flames But we're still learning to trust Learning to trust It's never enough, never enough Burning me up Yard. Never enough, burning me up, burning me up. Hi all! I just got into Germany literally like not even half an hour ago and I'm already checked into my room at the Adina for Spoker Horse. Now I was supposed to come actually yesterday, but my flights were kind of like messed around a bit and then it was delayed today, so I only really have like an hour properly today to look around and it's the second day so sat sun, what day is it sunday and then tomorrow is the last day monday so yeah hopefully i just get to kind of scope out what there is to see i guess 
need to remember my business cards. So as you can probably tell, there's a lot of chaotic energy going on. I don't really know much about this event, to be honest. It just happened to be that I was in Europe when it was on. One of my stockers slash my <laughs> riding instructor actually, who owns Southern Sport Horses, he is here. And he basically was like, you're in Europe, it's cheap flights. The flights were not cheap. <laughs> They were so expensive because I got here uh, just after school holidays. But this is the fit that I'm wearing today, like quite business-esque. I don't really know what the vibe is, if it's like very horse ridery or not. But, you know, this was easy to grab. I feel like it looks all right, even brown shoes with black shorts. This is what we're doing. I'll bring you guys along with me. Had a chat to Pivo as well because they've been contacting me to work with me so yeah just doing everything at once all done supplier found the breaches this perfectly explains the nap that I just had <laughs> Okay, so I'm not looking quite so crazy as I was before. I've had my nap. I uh, have finally relaxed for the first time in probably four days. So I'm prepared to tell you guys about Spoga finally. So Spoga is the world's biggest trade event. And it kind of is an event where you are going to find a supplier. So that's what I was going for or it's for saddle rees to go and to connect with brands. So all the biggest brands in the equestrian industry were there. So they had pretty much anyone you can think of aside from, I think the only ones I didn't see that I could think of was Equiline and Ariat. All the rest, I mean, bar some again, were pretty well there, very overwhelming and you just didn't even really know where to look. So obviously that's not really what I was going for. So I was going to look for suppliers. So a lot of suppliers from certain countries come over and they show their products and show their samples and you can go through and actually touch all the fabrics, which obviously you cannot do online. So particularly I was going to Spoga because I really wanted to release a pair of breeches. Now, breeches are, 
I've had so many samples. So at the start, when I was looking at doing breaches, I went for suppliers online and they promised a lot. They were not good. And then I sent a sample pair of breaches for a normal supplier that I have to duplicate. They didn't turn out very well. The fabric wasn't right. So I got another sample from them. Again, the fabric was not okay. And I never actually got the sample pair of breeches back actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> and then the second lot of sample breeches I got was just from a company that emailed me because I have so many supplier emails every day. Literally every day I will get a supplier or two or three or four emailing me being like, we have great products, here's a few photos of them. But it just gets to the point where you have so many, you have no idea who to go for. And obviously you don't really know what the fabric is like until you actually touch it and wear it. So today and yesterday, I was just going through to all of these different suppliers. A lot of them I've actually been emailed by them before. But yeah, I was just going through touching, feeling the fabric, seeing how stretchy it was, and then asking them the minimum order quantity, which isn't that high for me because I'm just like a small independent Australian business. I'm not, you know, spread across the whole world. And so I was going for a smaller MOQ than perhaps normal. And then I was also asking them the price, obviously, per pair of breeches, how many MOQ you can get for the colour, if you have to get the colour completely customised, or if they have like a set swatch of colour fabrics that we can use, and kind of just other things, details about the business, like, you know, the working conditions is really important, if they're, they're like all certified, etc and also just like connecting with them as people. And also I was doing a lot of asking about recycled fabrics and that sort of thing, which is obviously really important to start being more sustainable nowadays. So there were a lot of suppliers that had more sustainable products, but the MOQ was a bit too high often for me to afford. Like one of them was, I think a thousand for like a, 90% recycled fabric, but a thousand for a pair of breeches, one color for me at the moment is just a little difficult. It's not necessarily like unaffordable or anything like that, but it's more that you don't want to be stuck with like a thousand pairs of something that, you know, isn't selling very well. So I just mainly want to test the product first. So say two to 300 pairs of breeches and then I can see how they go and then go from there because otherwise, you know, you can get stuck with a lot of stuff and it doesn't sell well. And then, you know, you mark it down and you don't really earn any money or you don't earn any money from the product. So yeah, I've actually been to a trade event like this before, but it was just normal clothing. It was in Hong Kong. I did actually find the Lux sweaters there, the supplier for them, and they were really, really good. They were expensive though. So yeah, the fact that this was purely equestrian was ideal because compared to just like normal sportswear, normal streetwear, etc., and bigger brands, it has a lower MOQ and you can be more sure that you're getting the right product. And I found some seriously good suppliers. So I'm super excited. Like I have so many business cards and things to go through, but one specific supplier really, really stood out to me and their quality was really incredible. So I think I'm gonna go with them. They were the last one I went to. And then from there I was like, well, do I need to go to anyone else? I don't think so. But yeah, I've also got like other ones that I need to kind of look a little bit more into. Like these ones were, they had recycled breeches and you didn't have to pay for the sample, which is great. And uh, pretty unheard of for me. Like I always pay for the samples and pay for the postage. So samples end up being really expensive, but I think because this is a different country than I usually go through, they're a little bit more affordable with that sort of thing and like getting people on board. 
maybe also because they're equestrian suppliers and not just like general sportswear. So yeah, hope that makes you guys understand a little bit more about Spoga and why I came to this event and yeah, it was great for me. So I'm heading off to France tomorrow and then I'm heading off to Slovenia to watch Max play volleyball. And then after that, we're going on a little holiday together. So I am keen and then I'm going to WEG. I'm really cramming everything together because whew, flight prices, high. <laughs>